Okay, matrix multiplication is a bit different now. Um, takes a little bit of effort. So you have some restrictions or limitations to multiplication of matrices. This is not a scalar times a matrix. This is multiplying two matrices. So in order to multiply two matrices, you have certain requirements that have to be met. So let's say that I have an M by N matrix, and I want to multiply that matrix by an N by W matrix. Okay, so this is the order of the first matrix. This is the order of the second. First matrix has M rows and columns. Second matrix has N rows and W columns. So the first um, requirement that has to be met is these have to be equal. The number of columns in the first matrix has to match the number of rows in the second. Again, the number of columns in the first matrix has to be the same as the number of rows in the second. And I like to write the dimensions and do it this way. Um, and then your final product is going to have the dimension down here. So your product, after you multiply, is going to have the dimension equal to um, M by W. So the two inner values have to be the same and the two outer values are going to give you your dimension of your product when you're doing matrix multiplication. So let me show you what I mean. So these um, two matrices that are being multiplied do not have, to have, they do not have to have the same dimension. However, they do have to uh, fit that requirement um, such that, so let's look at, uh, let's do AB. Um, yeah, let's say you want to find the product A times B. So I wanna multiply matrix A times matrix B in that order and be particular about the order in which you're doing it, okay? A times B is very different than B times A. So we wanna do A times B. Well, let me do this check. Let's check and see if I can do it. Matrix A is a three by two matrix, right? It has three, uh, three rows and two columns. Matrix B is a two by three matrix, right? I don't know why I put a bracket there. So I want to make sure that my requirements are met, right? So the first requirement is that the two middle numbers have to be equal, and they are. That works, right? The number of columns in the first matrix matches the number of rows in the second. And these, the dimension of my product is going to be a three by three, right? This many rows and this many columns. So I'm going to take this to the next page because I'm going to need some space for this. I want to do A times B and I'm allowed to do it. And I expect my product to be a three by three matrix. So let me take A is four, two, six, one. So four, two, six, one, three, five. Now I'll take this matrix and multiply it by the matrix. Two, three, four. I'm going across and negative one, negative two, zero. Okay, so I expect my solution or my product to be a three by three matrix. I kind of like to look, put dashes, one, two, three columns, and one, two, they're not negatives, this just represents like how many rows and how many columns. Three rows and three columns is my final product, right? I might need some space here because I'm gonna show all my work. So let's start with the first element here. So this element, um, I'm gonna start with a little color coordination and then I'll this first element here is element in the first row and first column of my product. First row, first column of my product. So in order to find this element, I'm gonna take the first row of my first matrix, first row, first column, and the first column of my second matrix. First row, first column. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna multiply and add. So four times two, I'll show my work, plus two times one. So I'm going in a sense like this, four times two and then two times one. This is going to be the first element in my final um, uh, product, okay? So let me do that again for this one. Let's do this one here in this location. So this, I'll make this green. So this is going to be the element in my final product in row one, column two. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take row one in my first matrix, now column two in my second matrix, because this is element row one, column two. So always row and then column, row in first matrix, column in second, so row, column. Four times three, 
plus 2 times negative 2. Okay. Um, I might not have enough colors to do it all the way down, but I'll do another one. Now let's do the element here. This is row 1, column 3. So I want to take row 1, column 3 now. 4 times 4 plus 2 times 0. Again, this is a 3 by 3 matrix. That's just row 1. All right, now let me determine the element here in my final product. Row 2, column 1. So now I'm going to look at row 2 in my first matrix and column 1 in my second matrix. 6 times 2 plus 1 times 1. 6 times 2 plus 1 times 1. You can't really see blue so much, but I'm going to still use it. This is row 2, column 2. Row 2, column 2. 6 times 3 plus 1 times negative 2. The rest of them I'm going to do in white. Keep going. Row 2, column 3. Row 2, column 3. Keep going. 6 times 4 plus 1 times 0. Row 3, column 1. Now I'm looking at row 3, column 1. 3 times 5. I'm sorry. Row 3, column 1. 3 times 2 plus 5 times 1. Row 3, column 2. Row 3, column 2. 3 times 3 plus 5 times negative 2. Row 3, column 3. Row 3, column 3. 3 times 4 plus 5 times 0. And then simplify. 8 plus 4 is 12. 12, uh, 12 minus 4 is 8. 16 plus 0 is 16. 12 plus 1 is 13. Uh, 18 minus 2 is 16. 24 plus 0 is 24. 6 plus 5 is 11. 9, uh, sorry, 9 minus 10 is uh, negative 1. And 12 plus 0 is 12. And this is my final product, a 3 by 3 matrix. Now, I'm going to do it again, obviously. But what I want to show you is... Let's assume I want to do BA for these two. Now remember that B is a 2 by 3 matrix, right? 3, 2 by 3 matrix. So let's do um, BA. Let's see if it works. 3 by 2 matrix. And I want to multiply that by matrix A, which is a, th a 3 by 2. Oh, what did I write? Sorry, guys. Correction. Correction. Matrix B is a 2 by 3 times matrix A, which is a 3 by 2. Ooh, and look at that. The two middle numbers are the same. That works. And my final product will have dimension of 2 by 2. Um, I'm not going to do this one. I want to do a bigger one. So you guys can check that yourself. I want to do a bigger one just because uh, eh, you know, it might be ugly. Um, all right, let's do this. Let's say that I want to do A, B. So let's see if that works, first of all. I mean, I hope you could see that A is a 3 by 3, B is a 3 by 3. They're both square matrices. So obviously, the two middle numbers will be the same. And the two outer numbers are um, the product of the dimension. The, the product's dimension is going to be a 3 by 3. So everything is a 3 by 3. And the reason I wanted to do this is because, you know, when you get bigger matrices and it's a little bit uglier, at least it feels uglier, it's not as bad. Let me go down, column 1, 4, 2, 1, 4, 2. Negative 1, negative 1, 0. 4, 3, negative 2. Times 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, negative 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, negative 1. 0, 4, 3. Just be careful when you copy stuff down. Make sure it's copied down correctly. And I'm expecting my product to be a 3 by 3. So 1, 2, 3 rows and 1, 2, 3 columns, right? Row 1, column 1. Row 1, column 1. I'm going to show my work. So I have 1 times 1 plus 
negative 1 times 1 plus 4 times 1. I might not show it for all of these because I might run out of space. I'll show you what I do. Instead of writing all that out, this is what I like to do. Row 1, column 2. Row 1, column 2. 1 times 1 is 1. Plus negative 1 times 2 is negative 2. Plus 4 times negative 1 is negative 4. Saves a little bit of space. Um, I don't always do all of that in my head, only because it's easy to make an error if you do. So I do some of it in my head. Row 1, column 3. Row 1, column 3. 1 times 0 is 0. Plus negative 1 times 4 is negative 4. Plus 4 times 3 is 12. Row 2, column 1. Row 2, column 1. 4 times 1 is 4. Plus row 2, column 1. Negative 1 times 1 is negative 1. Plus row 2, column 1. 3 times 1 is 3. That's the second one here. Row 2, column 2. Row 2, column 2. 4 times 1 is 4. Plus negative 1 times 2 is negative 2. Plus 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. Row 2, column 3. Row 2, column 3. 4 times 0 is 0. Plus negative 1 times 4 is negative 4. Plus row 2, column 3. 3 times 3 is 9. Row 3, column 1. Row 3, column 1. 2 times 1 is 2. Plus 0 times 1 is 0. Plus negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. Row 3, column 2. Row 3, column 2. 2 times 1 is 2. Plus 0 times 2 is 0. Plus negative 2 times negative 1 is 2. Row 3, column 3. Row 3, column 3. 2 times 0 is 0. Plus 0 times 4 is 0. Plus negative 2 times 3 is negative 6. And then we simplify. Uh, so this is a 1 minus 1, 0 plus 4 is 4. 1 minus 2 is negative 1, minus 4 is negative 5. 0 plus 4, negative 4 plus 12 is 8. 4 uh, minus 1 is 3 plus 3 is 6. This is negative, uh, sorry, 2 minus 3 is negative 1. Uh, negative 4 plus 9 is 5. 0, 4, and negative is my final product. And again, this is A times B. B times A would be completely different. Okay, be careful the order in which you multiply. Um, matrix multiplication is not commutative. It's not commutative. Okay, just remember AB is not the same as BA. Okay, it's not commutative. In, in terms of matrices, A, B is not the same as B, A, and so on and so forth.